President Biden is planning for this visit, and the White House obviously has so much going into this, we're learning more about what has been happening on the ground, what he is going to learn more about when he's there, the horrors of Hamas's attack and the first responders who were there racing to help the victims as that day unfolded. And joining me now is Ellie Beer, the founder and president of United Hatzalah, the largest emergency medical service in Israel, whose volunteers were among the first people to respond to the attack by Hamas. Ellie, I'm so grateful you're here tonight because you're personally there, you're responding to this. Can you just can you just kind of describe to me what you've been seeing? Well, you know, I'm I'm involved with life saving for the last 35 years, I started volunteering on a back of an ambulance when I was 15 years old. And I, my first terrorist attack, I was just a couple of days after starting volunteering, was a terrorist stabbing people on Jaffa Street in Jerusalem. And if you take 35 years and you put them all combined together of the most horrific terrorist uh, attacks in the restaurants in Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, in the bus, bus bombings, and all the other terrible tragedies that I saw all combined together, it's nothing compared to what I saw in the last 10 days. And the first day was the most horrific. Uh, unfortunately, after being part of this in the first day, and my wife, Gitti, who is a paramedic, and my, my daughters and my son-in-laws were all there, rescuing people, seeing little babies chopped up to pieces, seeing how these terrorists, the Hamas terrorists who are so evil, they just wanted to kill any Jewish person, no matter who they are, how old they are. And they were going from babies to their mothers, to their fathers and grandparents, and then shooting the pets, shooting little parrots just for fun because they were owned by Jews. And I I remember seeing hours later when we were able to go into places and seeing in these little kibbutzes that are all peaceful, little villages, seeing a whole family just murdered and and chop, and the, the situation, the conditions that they were in, it's when I went out of there and my family, my wife went out of there, we felt like we just came out of the Holocaust. That's how we felt after one day of seeing wow. so many horrors. That's how we felt. How, that's how our volunteers felt. I and mean- it's something I'll never forget. To hear you say that it felt like coming out of the Holocaust is, I mean, it's unfathomable. And I know that one of the volunteers even, they were given, one of your volunteers was given two children, two babies whose parents had been killed in the attack. Do you know how they're doing tonight? Who's taking care of them now? Well, Shalom is a hero. One of my volunteers, Shalom, who was a young kid. He's only like 23 years old. And he went in with the special forces into Kfar Aza, which is 60% of the population were murdered, massacred. And he went in with them, putting his life in danger. We were there in the first moments while the shooting was still above our heads. Missiles were flying in the air. And Shalom went in. He heard baby crying. And it was like, it it wasn't real. Like, how do you hear baby crying? Everyone's dead everywhere. These terrorists, when they murdered the mother who went out to bring some milk for her children who were starving in the shelter, the mother ran to the kitchen just to get some milk or some water for the baby, to feed the baby, and the terrorists saw her, and they, I don't even want to talk what they did to her and the type of condition we found her there. And the mother was murdered afterwards. And, and the father ran out to save the, the, his wife, who was a young lady. He, they just got married about two years ago. And the, the father was shot in his head and shot all over his body. And then Shalom, when he came hours later, maybe 16 hours later, these babies were crying for 16 hours. But because of the shooting, no one heard. Hmm. And when the special forces, Israeli special forces, came in to the house trying to clear it from terrorists, they heard the babies crying. And they took these little tiny little babies, six months old. They brought him out to the United Hatzalah volunteers who were there. Shalom was holding the baby and he was crying and he was looking at this baby that was starving. And he ran out to the kitchen to get a little bottle of water to just give her water. The baby was dehydrated. He could hardly feel the pulse of the baby. The baby was crying for 16 hours. He felt 
he told me later when I was hugging him, I tell you, Shalom, I'm so proud of you. He said, Ellie, I felt like I was in 1944, 1943 in Europe, just saved little two Jewish babies. That's how I felt. And I can't even describe the sorrow that we feel as, as volunteers. Yeah. Where I had to go to two families of our volunteers who these two volunteers were murdered. I don't know if you realize so many people in Israel know people who are either murdered or kidnapped or injured. Two volunteers of United Hatzalah. One is a Israeli Jew from Kriyat Malachi was murdered right in the beginning. He went to save lives and he was murdered by these terrorists and they shot him maybe 50 bullets in his body. And the second one was an Arab volunteer of United Atzala, a Muslim Arab volunteer from Nazareth. Nazareth, you all know from the Bible. He was down there because he was protecting these people who were having, a, these young kids who were having a fun time in this festival. And he went to volunteer to say, if someone gets hurt, if someone gets injured, he was there to help them. And when he saw the massacre happening, he ran over to the victim. Instead of running away, he was running over to stop bleeding of these young kids, not knowing that you talk about hundreds of the most horrific, terrible terrorists in the world, ISIS, Hamas, and they attacked him. And then when they found out he was an Arab Muslim, and he was wearing the same exact vest I'm wearing now with the Israeli flag, we're all proud. We have Jews and Arabs working together here in Israel. Volunteers of United Salah, 7,000 mm -hmm. people are working together. Jews and Arabs, Christians, we all work, no difference. We all love each other. And he was running to save people, and they tortured him so much when they heard he was a Muslim. They, 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 we found him only four or five days later. And it was terrible just to see his face because he couldn't recognize anything. Ellie, I, I can't even imagine what you've been through, what your volunteers have been through. And I just... Please tell them all that we're, we're thinking of them, that they were so quick to respond on that day and what they've seen since then. Ellie Beer, thank you. We will continue to tell your stories. Thank you for your time tonight.